across the nation, Americans dig way down deep for our record-breaking income tax collection. It's hard to relax with those tax forms on your mind, but don't give up. That is easier said than done. Filing taxes seems almost painful by design here in the U.S. If you look at the many, many lines on the tax code, they're just plethora of forms and additional uh, attachments that you may have to make. It's an incredibly complicated code. Um, it's over 7 million words long. The IRS estimates the average taxpayer spends 12 hours working on it and ends up paying an average of $230 to get their paperwork filed. Your tax return you know, is in no way that simple. I don't care who you are or what economic situation you're in. Now, for some of us, it is the largest single financial transaction that we make each and every year. Just take my case. I work for a company that's based in New Jersey, but I live in New York and in Manhattan specifically. So I have to pay federal income tax, state income tax for both New Jersey and New York, plus the city income tax for Manhattan. That is a whole lot of paperwork. But tax experts say that all those forms and schedules are actually designed to help us save money if the filer knows how to navigate the tax code. We have 70,000 pages of rules and we have a deduction or a credit for everything under the sun. If you have the knowledge about how it works, you can utilize the tax code to benefit you more in the long run. However, most people don't have that knowledge, and I think that is what creates this fear of the IRS and paying taxes when um, essentially the tax code is not there to harm anyone. So how did the tax code get to be so complicated? And is it really a good thing for the taxpayer? When I get my paycheck every other week, I get a line-by-line -line list of all the money that's automatically being taken out, including what's being withheld for federal, state, and city income tax. Which begs the question, what exactly am I doing when I file my taxes every year if all this tax has already been taken out of my pay? The process that we go through every spring is to reconcile what we owe according to the tax code with what we've already paid in through withholding usually for most people but it's a complex process because there's oftentimes a mismatch between what we've already paid in and what it is that we owe instead of handing out direct checks to people who need help congress runs a large number of social policies and benefits through the tax code itself that means that theoretically you can substantially reduce the amount of tax you have to pay by claiming certain deductions credits and expenses on your tax return we have a lot more freedom here where the tax codes are up to you to utilize to your favor on the irs website they explicitly state that you can use the code to benefit you as much as you can. You have a full year to thoroughly and effectively tax plan to make sure that your money is being spent in places where you are growing it, but at the same time, reducing your tax liability. Some argue that having to itemize and identify all these one-off deductions is an unnecessary hassle, while others think it's key to leveling the playing field. The price of unfairness is simplicity. You know, when people talk about the flat tax or, you know, just do the one rate tax, you know, that may be great for somebody, but somebody with three children who's unmarried, who needs the earned income credit and the child tax credit and the dependent care credit, those are complicated. You know, the person over here with just one W-2, they may like the flat tax, but this other person, they need that. But tax breaks and deductions aren't the only reason that filing your returns every year is super complicated. The tax system in the U.S. is incredibly complex for a number of different reasons. We tax households instead of individuals. Another common thing that comes up is that many people have more than one job. And so again, unless you've made adjustments, your second job, let's say you have a, a side gig, the withholding is not being done as if that's your second job, it may be do it being done as if it's your first job. And in a system with graduated rates, that withholding may not be correct. The way people earn money, also not always totally straightforward. The reason why the U.S. tax system can seem complex is because individuals can earn income three different types of ways. We can earn portfolio income, which is going to be income earned through trading stocks and bonds. We can earn income passively, which can be created through things like real estate investing. And then we can also have our income from what we earn. The tax system can seem complex if you have income in these different categories. 
And then there's politics. Remember, income tax goes back to the 16th Amendment in 1913. And since then, a whole lot of presidents have rolled out their own changes and overhauls to the tax code. Traditionally, every time a new president is signed on, they have a tax reform policy that they're gonna put into place. But it's not like they can always totally erase what came before them. Instead, politicians tend to layer on top of what's already there. Something that provides political rewards for members of Congress, if you can help out some economic sector, say that's important in your district or state, that is a could be a political benefit that redounds to you. And so there's a lot of incentive for Congress to add more tax breaks. Experts say that this is part of why the tax code keeps getting longer with all of these increasingly complex provisions that don't appear to have any sort of overall logic. The first reason why our taxes are so complicated is because they never seem to go away, even though we all want tax simplification. Nowadays, figuring out which forms and schedules you need to fill out isn't exactly the easiest thing to do by hand. I could do my taxes by hand, but it would be very difficult to do that, and hardly anyone does that anymore. Do you want to be your own accountant? Are you going to take time and research the tax code? Are you going to take time and research tax credits? To most people, they do not want to do that. This kind of attitude has been great for companies in the nearly $11 billion business of tax preparation services. H&R Block, TurboTax, and Jackson Hewitt are some of the biggest players in the tax prep software space. Our role is really to help all taxpayers understand uh, the tax laws and apply them to themselves so they can pay the minimum amount of tax burden that they uh, owe. I don't care who you are or what economic situation you're in, high, medium, low, no income, unemployed. You've got a complicated tax profile as low income taxpayers qualify for a variety of tax benefits. High income people, a variety of tax breaks and you know other benefits. People in the middle, they're in the phase out. They may qualify or they may not qualify. But hiring help, whether it's an accountant or tax prep software, doesn't always come cheap. Every year, taxpayers spend more than $200 on average to prepare and file their taxes. And remember, that's on top of anything they may owe the government. TurboTax, which is owned by Intuit, made over $3.1 billion from its consumer tax segment in fiscal year 2020, up 25% from two years earlier. But there is one major headwind to this fast-growing for-profit tax prep sector, the rise of no-fee online tax prep. Now, for years, TurboTax's parent company has warned that free government-run tax services could pose a big threat to its business model. More than 20 states offer their own freemium filing portals to allow residents to prepare and file state income taxes online at no cost. And 70% of Americans are eligible to file their federal taxes for free online through IRS Free File, a public-private partnership between the IRS and a coalition of tax prep companies called the Free File Alliance, which actually includes TurboTax. So about 100 million people could be filing their taxes for free. The program got its start in 2003, but a fraction of those eligible actually use it. In 2020, only 4.2 million of the 1 100 plus million eligible taxpayers obtained a free return filing through the program. That was a nearly 50% increase from the previous year, but still a small fraction of the total eligible tax paying population. The Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration released an audit in 2020 to understand why so few taxpayers actually use the free file program. This report estimates that more than 14 million taxpayers in processing year 2019 ended up paying for tax prep software that they could have gotten for free. So why are so few people actually taking advantage of this freemium model? The audit blames the complexity of the program, a confusing design, a lack of taxpayer awareness, and inadequate oversight by the IRS. Looking abroad, the process is even simpler in places like Belgium, Spain, and Denmark, where all residents have to do is check the government's math on their pre-populated returns. I have graduate students from some European countries who literally check over their tax forms on their cell phones and say, yes, 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 adjust this, okay, done. <laughs> this YouTube video was posted by a taxpayer in Estonia. He walks us through the entire process of filing his income tax return. It is utterly captivating, if not totally baffling. It takes him all of two minutes and 50 seconds. So can we take any of these best practices from abroad in order to make paying taxes in the US easier? I mean, after President Trump's tax overhaul in 2017, 
Now more than 87% of taxpayers just take the standard deduction instead of itemizing their returns. And for a whole lot of taxpayers, the government already knows your income because your employer sends your W-2 and 1099 to the IRS. So that means that on both the income and deduction side of things, the calculations are pretty straightforward. There have been proposals over time for the United States, the IRS, for example, to mail out draft returns to taxpayers who are in straightforward situations. The idea being, if you just have income, you know, earned income from a job, maybe some interest income from a bank, straightforward tax situation, the IRS could actually fill out their form for you and you could check it over, make some adjustments if needed, and then send it back in. It's, uh, that's what's done in a number of other countries. So remember Free File, that program where Intuit and other for-profit companies teamed up with the IRS to offer free filing. Well, that partnership had one big catch. The IRS, for almost 20 years, promised not to offer a rival product. That is, up until it stopped making that promise in 2020, amid political and media backlash. But industry heavyweights like Jackson Hewitt say that tax reform and simplification would be welcome news. Tax simplification is always welcome. I've often debated this with academics and philosophers who say, oh, you're in the tax business. You push tax complexity. You are for a more complicated tax system. Nothing could be further from the truth for any real tax professional. You know, we like simple taxes that we can help taxpayers administer. They'll always be tax business. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.